Hi folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. I've got a small package. I've got a big package! <laughs> and we're going to be opening these today. So, I've got my trusty Kubi knife here. I'll get started opening this one, and then I think we'll have to change the camera angle to open up that big box. So let's take a look. Okay, so yeah, that's all that's in here. This is the newer, fairly new, C-Sharp by Lansky. Now, I do like to try to get uh, very, very budget-friendly sharpening options. This is the third tool of this same basic type of dimensions that I've reviewed, or that I will be reviewing, for from Lansky's Productions. The Blade Medic has been my favorite so far. After the Blade Medic came the... I'll insert the picture here because I forget the name. Uh, the issue that I didn't like with that one was that it had a lot of carbide sharpeners, and carbide sharpeners tend to really do a lot of potential damage to blades. You have to be very gentle with them if you don't want to, you know, turn your knife into a serrated knife. Basically, that's a risk you take uh, when you're sharpening on carbide, or you just take off way more steel than you want to. This new C-Sharp has got four different ceramic angles that you can sharpen your cutting edge to. So I'll be taking this out of this package, testing it a bit. They're all ceramic edges, and so I've got really high hopes for this thing. Uh, I hope I'll be able to rec recommend this highly as a budget-friendly, especially a uh, field carry or open carry kind of, you know, if you are going somewhere for a few days and you want some sharpening capability with you, I'm going to find out if this is a good thing to take with you or if you might as well just leave it at home. So that's what the review is going to be. I'm not sure exactly when I'll do it, but the more people say they want this review, the sooner I'll push it up on the list. So now it's time to open this big box. So let's adjust our camera. Uh, now I'm hoping that most of this is going to stay in focus or not. And you can see a big number right here, maybe. It says $107.75. It was expensive for my... <laughs> Uh, for, for the package to be shipped from Central United States to Canada. And I know what to expect in this package. This comes from Gridomatic, and they are the main distributor for Hapstone pr products. And there are two new sharpeners that have come out very recently, and I wanted to review them. And so I've got them. Now, being uh, totally open and uh, clear about what I'm doing. These were given to me by Gridomatic uh, so that I could review them. So I'm dedicated to doing the most honest, fair, objective reviews possible, just like everybody else. And so let's get a good start on this. It's a bit of a letter here. Oh, okay. Uh, my sister included some stuff for my grandson, my newest grandson. Woohoo! Uh, my 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 sister's daughter just had her first child. My my sister's first grandchild, also a boy. So we might see some stuff that is more addressed to that in this package. So let's see what we got here. Empty, empty. Okay, that's just like a balloon bag. Throw that over there. Empty, empty, empty. I got a lot of bags to recycle. Okay. Oh, some clothing for my grandson. Move that aside. There we go. There are some separate things here as well. So what's this? Operation Red Sea by HX Outdoors. So what's this? Oh yes, I've been wanting this. I've been waiting for this to come. I guess this was at my sister's for quite a while. This is a very tiny little knife. Oh, and by the way, my thumb is healing up very, very well. 
and that's why I bound it up tightly for the first uh, 36 hours and uh, kept it nice and closed, did nothing with my thumb so that it would be uh, healing up as quickly as possible. So this is going to be in my neck knife series maybe because it's got a neck knife carry option. And uh, there we go. It's that design. Uh, Reich has it as their Thor. And uh, HX Outdoors got permission from Reich to also make the same style knife. And uh, I covered that in a different video. And so we've got a nice tiny knife here, frame lock, with a sheath and a neck chain. Ho oh, ho! That'll have its own review, most definitely. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Oh, yes. Here's another knife. This is... Oh, she hasn't even opened this up. Okay. This is an artisan cutlery knife. Put that down. Comes in this bag here. There you go. Oh, so this is the second one that I got. Uh, because the first one didn't come, I didn't realize it was sitting at my sister's. Uh, it, my sister's been quite ill lately and quite busy with other things too, so. Let's see if we got anything else small in here. Yes, we've got a CRKT item. Okay. There we go. Aha, yes, I've been waiting for this guy too. I've almost rebought it a second time. This is the new Helical by CRKT. There's a sale right now. It hopefully, it's still on before this video goes live. Uh, you can get this from MassDrop. And if you're not a member of MassDrop, if you use my affiliate link to sign up for MassDrop, you get $10 off. And I think the uh, Heli Helical is less than $40 at MassDrop. I'll put the exact price on the screen. And if you get $10 off of that, wow, that's a good buy. So this is a nice new Tanto by CRKT. Well, we'll find out if it's a nice new Tanto. I know it's a new Tanto. We'll see how nice it is when we review it. But if you're in a hurry to decide if you want to get one of those or not, check out other reviewers. That's the best I can offer you right now. And uh, decide if you want to get that from Mass Drop or not. Now there's two Hepstone boxes left. Oh, there's still some more stuff down here. Some small packages. Oh yes, there's lots more stuff here than I thought was gonna be in this container. There we go. Come on out. Oh, I've been waiting for you for a while. There you go. Check that out. This is a Fura Gear knife. Uh, nice Warncliffe tip, frame lock, green titanium handle scales. Oh, that's good action. Nice and smooth. Goes to all the way locking, just like that, just from a light little move. I'm not going to use this thumb yet. It's still healing up. So I was born left-handed, so I can do stuff left-handed quite well. So that's feeling quite, quite good indeed. So can't wait to review that. I bought that from Gearbest and had it shipped to my sister's place. Here's another item. Hopefully this video, this video is going to be a little longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and in purple, this is really greasy, my friends. Ho ho! This bag, just you can feel the grease all over this bag. And, oh, it's so slippery. Let's see if I can make it open. There you go. Yeah, I'm not even going to flick this around open and closed anymore. Again, from through Gearbest, I bought this, and it's, you know, they say this is D2, uh, and this is another Fura Gear item. Uh, purpley, pink, fuchsia kind of titanium. Hope it's focusing on here. Can't really tell. 
And uh, yeah, nice stonewash drop point blade. And I'm just going to put this aside somewhere because I don't want this to get everything greasy that it touches. Put that aside too, and there we go. Okay, and now let's open this box. Now I guess I could open this on, you know, the traditional tabletop method, but then I'll have to move again to do these, so let's see. Oh, I think I had it upside down. I did so. Gridomatic. Nice wooden box. Oh, it's just a box to hold stones. So very, very good. I needed something like this. I was just talking to my wife the day before yesterday saying I need to get a whole new storage system for all of my <laughs> knife stuff and uh, my sharpening stuff specifically, I mean. And uh, here I've got a nice storage box by Gridomatic. I'm sure these are in their store. I think I've seen them there. So uh, I'll use this and see how well it works. Feels like it's a little bit of a is that magnetic retention. No, it's a detent, a detent retention. So we've got room for two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 stones. So that's quite nice. I like that. Now let's open this up. What is this? This is the new Hapstone K1 precision knife sharpening system. So permanent marker. I always say if you're sharpening knives, you need to have a permanent marker. It's going to help you an awful lot to double check your work or even the initial steps in your sharpening. Okay, we've got stones in here so it comes with three stones uh, what's in this bag aha there's a clamp here a one-piece clamp system part of the arm oh no this is a screwdriver is it yes this is a hex screwdriver Put that aside And this is part of the arm that, uh, well, it's the whole system because that's on there extra for, um, you know, sliding your stone across what you're sharpening. I like how they do this with wood, the handles. It feels really, really nice. Uh, the other sharpening systems that I have, I have stone. I like that an awful lot. Very comfortable. Now, I'm not going to show you right now putting this all together and everything. I'll do a, an assembly and first impressions video, probably or I might just do an assembly video, and then I'll do a review video separately. So that's a lot of videos that are gonna come out of this. And um, so here's the system. It rotates on an axis, and you can put one or two clamps on it, and you know turn it over and you sharpen the other side. So that's basically how this is supposed to work. The K1 is their, I think their most portable sharpening system that they're going to have. I think this is uh, going to be small enough that I'll be able to take it along on the trip. Okay, so that's that system. Let's put this aside. Don't want to get the two systems mixed up at all. There we go for the K1. And this, whoo this is a big, big box. This is the new R1, Hapstone R1. So, uh, so open this up here. What do we got? That's a long arm. The long arm of the sharpener. Okay, so that's the pivot point on the base. That's what that's going to be. The knife in my pocket. Okay, and here's the main rotating business end of the machine. So, you know, big tough spring there. Yeah, strong detent. Okay, that feels pretty good so far. So, let's move this to the side. So, we've got that. I, I hate styrofoam. It gets everywhere and it's so annoying. But it's a good material for shipping, so... The static of it. Oh, the static is nasty. <laughs> There's the base for the unit. This is the early bird version. And we've got another 
marker. Oh, I'm getting all full of this stuff. And a sharpening arm. We've got that wooden uh, ball to hang on to. Oh, it's more egg shaped. And another driver. And we put that aside. Now, let me just double check the angle on the camera here. Oh, that's not good enough. Let's go like this. So I probably messed up a lot of that video with not having all the angles that I wanted. And uh, let's move some lights around. So here, let's talk about this one first. The R1, it's got a sturdy base that's almost half an inch thick, I think, this steel on the base here. Uh, rubber feet. And uh, okay, that's a fixed angle there. And there's the pivot point for the arm. So this locks into here. And uh, I'll do that on the the um, assembly video. I'll show you exactly how that works. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're unpacking stuff, especially at Christmas time, if they have a knife, they forget to put the knife down when they start using their hands for other stuff. Um, okay, there's three clamps on here. So we've got uh, two clamps, two small ones, and one big one. And uh, you can decide to use whichever ones you want on here. That slides in there, of course. And so imagine that's attached there. And then the arm here. Okay. So I'll show you on the assembly instructions, but basically I think that piece probably goes there like that. You adjust this to change your angle. You can tighten that on there. And uh, this slides on here like that. And this goes on here like this. And then it slides back and forth across those clamps. So all I can say right now is, um, and here's the K1, is that these are made to very high tolerances. I can see it very clearly. And the detents on these rotating bits are firm. Very good. And uh, spring tension there that you can adjust. So you can adjust how strong that detent is. Actually, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Suffice it to say, this is some high quality stuff. Stick around to my channel, keep watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe so that when I do do the uh, assembly and review videos for these, you'll get your notifications. Click on that little bell after you subscribe so that you can get those notifications sent to your inbox. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you like this unboxing video. And remember, always cut towards your chum, not your bleeding thumb.